1957, America was a very different place than it is today. Jim Crow laws were still in effect in the South, and blatant racism was common across the country. But that was also the year that a true pioneer was born in Decatur, Alabama. The daughter of a teacher and a maintenance supervisor, Mae Jemison loved science from an early age. As a child, she watched the show Star Trek on television, and it was one of the first TV shows that featured a black character as part of its main cast, the ever-vigilant Lieutenant Uhura. Star Trek inspired a love of space in May. At the time, however, there were no black astronauts, nor were there any women. But that didn't stop young girls like May from dreaming of the stars. After attending medical school, Jemison worked overseas in Cuba, Cambodia, and East Africa. She earned her MD from Cornell Medical School, and soon thereafter she joined the Peace Corps. While this would pay her far less money, it meant that Jemison would be able to help the people who had the greatest need across the globe. When she returned to the United States, May learned about the historic flight of Sally Ride, the first American woman to fly in space. Jemison applied for the astronaut program in 1987 and was one of 15 people selected out of over 2,000 applications. In 1989, she was assigned to shuttle flight STS-47, making her the first black woman to go to space. On board, she was in charge of much of the new equipment, and she also worked hand-in-hand -hand with Japanese astronaut Mamoru Mori on numerous scientific experiments. During all of this, from childhood to medical career, Jemison had also been a passionate dancer. She danced ballet when she was younger and served as a choreographer for dance performances in college. So when she went up on her mission, Jemison brought along with her a poster for the American Dance Theater. After her time in space, Jemison retired from NASA and worked for the World Sickle Cell Foundation for several years. She was also a professor at Dartmouth College and partnered with numerous medical organizations to provide health worldwide. And bringing it all back full circle, in 1993, Jemison was invited to appear on the television show Star Trek The Next Generation, a sequel series to the show which had inspired her as a young girl. She even had the chance to meet Lieutenant Uhura herself, actress Nichelle Nichols. Jemison has worked tirelessly to inspire others, encouraging countless young people to involve themselves in engineering, science, and medicine as well as furthering our understanding of the human body and our place in the universe. She's truly lived a life that is out of this world.